one just short of a million and a half pounds in win prize money alone. Moon Madness is number four, Paladere seven, Bin Pasha, Richard Quinn, eight, Infamy, Ray Cochran, and number nine, Triptyque, Steve Cawthon. Just the four runners, but they're racing for the Hanson Coronation Cup. It's a group one event. Let's see how they bet. Triptyque, the six to four favorite, Moon Madness, 15 to eight. Infamy a three to one chance and then Pasha on ten to one, all quoted for the Hanson Coronation Cup. So long. Oh, let's wish him well, let's wish them all well. There's four runners, but what a fascinating race. We expect the pace to come from Bin Pasha, and she leads by three parts of length. Padidary on the outside on Moon Madness, and then Triptyque in the dark colours. And the grey is in for me, and that's in last place. And Bin Pasha leads from Mood Madness on the outside, then Triptyque, and then Infamy back in fourth place. So, Bin Pasha leading from Mood Madness, really moving well on the outside. Infamy the grey back in third, and Triptyque, see what a peculiar round action. She sort of comes down on the ground, doesn't she? And Triptyque back in fourth place. But the ground might be just a bit too firm for her, and well, we don't know. We'll see. Bin Pasha leads from Moon Madness and Infamy and Triptyque back in fourth and last place. And Steve Gawthon just uh, niggling along, you know. She's just losing touch. She's about three behind Infamy. And that's a length and a half behind the leading pair who pass a po mile pole now. And it's Bin Pasha on the inside of Moon Madness. And Triptyque, you know, is, uh, you know, she's just losing her place. She's going five behind now, and Steve Gawthon's having to ride her along. Moon Madness going on at the top of the hill, seven to race. Now Triptyque is starting to race. She's just closing on Infamy. And Moon Madness leads by three lengths. The Bin Pasha in second, Infamy third, and Triptyque in fourth. They come down towards the halfway stage. Halfway now, Moon Madness three clear. Uh, Bin Pasha and Infamy, and now Triptyque again, just uh, starting to niggle along again. She's just losing a length or two as Moon Madness starts to begin the descent, five to race, Moon Madness by three lengths, and Infamy now sweeps past Bin Pasha, and uh, back in last place, Triptyque trying to close, she is closing, they start the sweep round Tattenham Corner, and it's Moon Madness in the lead from Bin Pasha in second, Infamy, and now Triptyque on an even keel and closing, but Moon Madness goes for home, and Paladary is quick in the pace, he's driven some pace into the race, three to go, and Moon Madness is ahead of Infamy the Grey, Bin Pasha, and now Triptyque pulled to the outside, and she's starting to race now, and they're in line for her, and just over two to go, Moon Madness has it from Infamy, but Triptyque now is looking strong, Bin Pasha has dropped away, they've got a furlong and a half to go, and it's going to be a wide open race, Moon Madness with Infamy putting in a challenge, and Triptyque looking as well as any now, on the outside, and Triptyque now puts a challenge to Moon Madness, but he's a brave horse, however, he's been passed by Triptyque, who goes on from Infamy, me in second place, Moon Madness third at best, and Infamy tries to put the challenge to Triptyque, but Triptyque has the answer, Triptyque wins, Infamy is second, Moon Madness third, Bin Pasha is fourth, a most fascinating race for this Group 1 Hanson Coronation Cup, it's gone to the favourite, number nine, Triptyque, um, by Mr Peter M. Brandt, trained in France by Patrick Louis Bianco at 11 to 8, and ridden by Steve Cawthon, his 39th winner of the season. Second is number eight, Infamy, who's won a cracking race for Ray Cochran. Third is number four, Moon Madness, written by Pat Edery. Well, if you'd back the favourite at the halfway stage, your heart should certainly have been in your mouth. But uh, only really when she turned into the home straight and she got on an even keel did she really start to race. And then she raced to such immediate effect. Great infamy at four to one. And third, number four, Mood Madness at 15 to eight. The tape paid £2.50 for the win and £3.50 for the dual forecast and four rounds.